November 23, 2017 marked a watershed day for the 300 odd inmates who continue to refuse to leave the Manus Regional Processing Centre on Manus Island. This small controversial offshore detention centre was run by the Australian government to house illegal migrants to Australia between 2001 to 2008 and again between 2012 and 2017 when it housed a total of 1,905 inmates. As Papua New Guinea, of which the island is a part of, sent police to storm the premises in the early hours of November 23rd, Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull stayed firm on his hardliner stance on the fate of the inmates, refusing to offer them asylum in Australia. Cases of sexual assault and self-injury among the inmates were reported as the Australian government moved to cut off basic supplies in mid-November because of the inmates' refusal to move to transition facilities in the Manus Island capital of Loringau. So what is the Manus Island standoff? The Manus Regional Processing Centre lies on Manus Island, north of the island of New Guinea in the Malay Archipelago. The Australians who had military presence on the island during World War II found use for it in the new millennium as a convenient offshore detention location for asylum seekers and illegal migrants far from the reach of Australian laws and constitutional rights. The inmates of the Manus Island Centre are not partakers in international terrorism but ordinary people seeking asylum or jobs in Australia. They were relegated to what has widely been called Australia's Guantanamo Bay for its abusive environment, meagre facilities and offshore location. As Australia closed down the centre on October 31st, panic ran through the inmates who were to be moved to transitory detention facilities and were not even given the option of moving to a detention facility in Australia, let alone immigrate to the country. The crisis has caused New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern to offer to provide asylum to 150 inmates in New Zealand, an offer that Australia did not even acknowledge. Australian Prime Minister Malcolm Turnbull snubbed his New Zealand counterpart at the East Asia Summit in Manila, Philippines, showing the growing diplomatic tension in Oceania. With no recourse to move to Australia or move back to their home country, the inmates of Manus Island are faced with the traumatic predicament of enduring sustained incarceration, away both from their home and their destination country and imprisoned on this small island. On November 24, 2017, the inmates finally left the centre in buses for transitory detention facilities. The Manus Island standoff has come to an end. But the inmates' tenacious stand has shown a mirror to the present world regime of human rights for asylum seekers.